Fracture femur anti-grade rotting technique. The ideal treatment for a fracture shaft of the femur is aesthetically locked anti-grade reamed nail of the appropriate diameter which allow the patient immediate weight bearing after surgery. The starting point has to be ideal. You do not want to go too anteriorly because you will create atrogenic fracture of the proximal femur. And you don't want to go too posteriorly because that will create anterior perforation of the distal femur. The performance fossa starting point is the gold standard. We can use trochanteric entry, especially in obese patients, but then you have to use a trochanteric nail. The ideal location for the trochanteric nail is medial to the tip of the trochanter. A rod placed in A position will cause verse. A rod placed in B position is the ideal trochanteric entry. The rod placed in C position is the piriformis entry. If you have a straight nail designed for piriformis entry and you go through the greater trochanter, then you will get varus. The piriformis entry is collinear with the long axis of the femoral shaft. The greater trochanter entry site is lateral to the femoral shaft axis. And this will create malalignment as you advance the rod. The two axes becomes collinear, leading to a varus deformity. Try to avoid varus. After you make the entry hole, you will put the guide wire. It's probably better to bend the guide wire. Make sure you ream over a beaded guide wire. And the guide wire must have a curve to help you in advancing to the distal fragment. Once you put the guide wire, you must see the knee in the lateral view and make sure the guide wire is not anteriorly. And after you measure the guide wire, insert the guide wire a little bit distally so it will hold in the bone and it doesn't come up with the reaming. How about reaming? Reaming probably increase the union rates and probably decrease the time to union. Make sure you don't ream when there's an area of comminution. You just push the reamer through the area of comminution. You may want to avoid reaming in somebody with bilateral fracture femurs. Reaming may increase the pulmonary complication rate, especially in bilateral femur fractures, so you can use unreamed nailing. You measure the proper length and you put the appropriate length rod. Insertion of the screws. Always look at the handle of the insertion of the rod. Make sure the C arm in a lateral position is parallel to the insertion of the handle of the rod. Then you will get the holes perfect. Once you get them perfect, then you ask for magnification. Try to get perfect circles. If you have an overlap of the interlocking holes in the proximal distal direction, then the leg needs adduction or abduction, and that will improve it. If the overlap is in the anterior-posterior plane, then it is a rotation problem, internal or external. Make sure the rotation of the extremity is okay. There is a high incidence of mal rotation after I am nailing of the femur. Try to get the difference between the two femurs to be within 10 degrees of each other and the max is 15 degrees. Once the perfect circle is seen, then a drill or a handle with a K-wire 
is pointed at the circle and advanced parallel to the fluoroscopic beam. After that, you will put the proximal and the distal screws. Make sure you remove the guide wire before you put the screws. You can check that the proximal screw is in its proper location by inserting a wire through the rod and see if it will stop at the screw or not. If it stops at the screw, then the screw is inserted properly and you don't need to get a lateral to see it. Make sure you get internal rotation view after insertion of the screws in the distal femur to avoid having long screws. Make sure the C-arm is perpendicular to the femur. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.